When choosing the song for this project, we wanted to have, find songs that would fit the duration requirement of the project itself. And we also wanted to find a song that had fewer notes rather than a large amount of notes because we only have four solids and three motors, so it makes it harder to hit more notes than like eight or nine. So when it came to the actual structural design of our time machine, we wanted to keep it real simple, uh, just a really simple frame so that we could have all eight of our chimes suspended vertically, um, hung by a string that is uh, tensioned both above and below, starting with the solenoids, which we mounted using zip ties running up, down from the underneath of the bar, coming up through a hole, and then moving over to the motors, which we just have this motor is just screwed straight into the block. And this motor, we actually had to make our own little bracket to mount it since we took it out of the gearbox so we could get it to spin faster. To actually strike the chime, uh, as you can see here, we used on the solenoids, we used on this one, we used the spring that was provided from the spring return solenoid. And then on these three, we wrapped the pipe cleaner around the shaft of the solenoid with a little paper clip in here to hold it back so when it compresses like a spring, releases, hits the chime real nice. For the motors, well, so then we used the two shaft collars that we were provided using a screw straight through the popsicle stick as you can see there, swings really nice. For the final motor, since we had to mount directly to the shaft, we couldn't use any hot glue, any screws or anything, we just uh, used an interference fit, drilled a small hole, just kind of forced the shaft on there. The code that performs the song is divided into two categories, solenoid function and motor functions, which is also divided into the subcategories of the single chime checking axles and the double chime axle. The solenoid function works by activating and deactivating the solenoid as quickly as possible. The single axle motor function works through activating the motor for a certain amount of time in the forward direction. The motor is then deactivated and the axle is left to spin forward and strike the chime. The double axle works in a similar fashion except in two directions. We ran into a few problems that we had to uh, find a solution for. So for example, when we were hanging up the chimes with string, we hadn't left enough to hang up all of them. That's why we have this paracord here and this hot glue to the side. Then we also added paper clips uh, that are wrapped around the string there. Another thing that we had to fix was that uh, we were originally going to hot glue down the solenoids and that was how we were going to attach them to the wood, but uh, that was kind of loose and it wasn't really working out. So we decided to drill holes through the wood and then put zip ties through them. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me.